Hey Louis, welcome to Chelmsford City Football Club. How does it feel to be a Chelmsford player? Uh, it feels really good. Um, I'm really excited to be here. Um, obviously, it's been a tough year for everyone in terms of footballing-wise and obviously with COVID and the situation. Um, but now with the, the lockdown sort of ending and football coming back and fans obviously coming back, I'm really excited to be here and hopefully this season and the, or the season coming up. Uh, we can have a really good season, so I'm, I'm really excited to be here. Mm -hmm. And uh, when did you first hear about the move and how did that come about? So, obviously, when um, all this season has just gone, I was at Farnborough and um, I really enjoyed my time there. Um, but obviously the season, like the, the National South season, um, was cut short. Um, I've obviously known um, the manager, Robbie, um, for a while now. I came here last pre-season to, to keep my fitness up and um, when the move came about, Robbie messaged me about coming in. Um, he, I think he, he, he uh, really likes me, what I can do as a player um, in that central midfield role and, and as soon as um, that opportunity came, I, I jumped at the chance because I was really excited to, uh, as I said before, come down and, and play for him for sure. Yeah, and, and obviously have you, have you spoken much to Robbie about plans for next season and, and how's all that sounding? Yeah, I've spoke to to Robbie a few times and we've had a couple of training sessions here with the boys and um, it, it, look it's really exciting I mean there's a lot of younger boys um, that are playing um, and there's also a few experienced heads who, who know the game really well people like El and and uh, and uh, Spills who are uh, experienced heads with, with the younger players like myself and uh, if we can get that right mix what the, the manager Robbie has said um, I think we're really excited about this season but of course it's 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 a bit of a lottery. We don't really know because of COVID. Um, but as soon as pre-season comes, um, I'm sure we'll be ready. And, and yeah, we're looking to, to give the fans when they come back in um, a really good, exciting season where we can we can play a bit of football, I think. And you mentioned those experience heads there that are here. How important is it to, to be able to learn from players like that that have, that have been in the professional game and, and done it? Yeah, for sure, because I think... Um, Elliot, I know um, Elliot Ward. I know uh, quite well. Uh, we did our coaching courses together in, I think, two summers ago. He's he's very experienced. Um, a really good head to have behind you if we're playing. If I'm playing central midfield and he's at the back, um, you know, feeding off those players for me, especially, and, and of course, there's some, even some younger boys in, in the team, even younger than me, and um, feeding off that experience can only help us, I think, going forward, definitely, uh, on the pitch, and of course as well off the pitch as well. I think um, if we can create a, a sort of a group mentality where we're all positive going in one direction, I think um, we can have a really good season for sure. Yeah, and during your young days, you were at Colchester United, but, but during your time there, you went out on loan to Concord Rangers, so yeah. uh, in the National League South, obviously. Yeah. What do you know about the league? It's a very competitive league, very competitive league. Um, I think I was at Concord for, for a short spell, only a month. I, played, I think I played about five or six games. I was only young, I was only 17, coming from playing for Colchester as a young boy. Um, maybe uh, it was a, a, bit, a bit of a step up for me, of course, at that time. Um, but I know the I've played, I think, 25, maybe 30 games. I know the level below. I've played against teams at this level uh, throughout my years at Colchester and again uh, for Farnborough. Uh, I know it's a competitive league. I know what it takes to play at this league. It's, it's very hard work. The teams at the top play football. The teams at the bottom do play football as well, but um, there's a lot of endeavour, a lot of hard work to be done. And yeah, I think I, I know what it takes to play at this, this level. But of course, um, I haven't played many games at this level. I've only played five or six. But I believe in my ability and I believe I can step out and, and do well for Chelmsford. And I believe we can do well this season. Yeah, and, and, and being a midfielder, what can supporters expect from you as a player on the pitch? Yeah, so um, for me, I'm, I'm very technical from my days at, at, at Colchester and, and of course Farnborough. I'm sort of a midfielder that will, will give everything for the, for the club and the shirt, um, 100%. Um, a few people might know my dad, of course, from, from his time at Colchester and as a player. Um, at, at, you know, I'm very similar to, similar to him in, in that sense where I'd give 100% on the pitch. Um, I work very hard, but my main attributes are, are more with the football, technically on the ball. I like to, to get us playing, get us ticking in the midfield. So uh, that's what I'll be trying to bring uh, to the team this season, certainly more. Uh, technically, um, you know, assured with the football in, in that central area. So that's what hopefully the fans will, will see this season. Brilliant. Thanks, Louis, Thank and you. best of luck with the club. Cheers. Thanks a lot.